This is the Jersey Shore's Morning Show with Lou and Michelle. On 94.3 The Point. So this is the last day of the week that we'll be here in the studio. Yeah, we're back in Asbury Park tomorrow morning. And the and the and the staff grows when we're out there. We have people back here. We have people out there. It's pretty exciting stuff. Now today, everybody showed up, which is a rarity in the summer. So we're happy to have our chief meteorologist Dan Zaro, who couldn't keep the perfect weather going forever. Right? We that's expecting too much, isn't it? Uh yeah. There was a lot of pressure on him. I'm not gonna lie, but it, he delivered for a long time. He did good. He he definitely did good. So he's here today. We have uh, Corey and Logan up in the booth, of course. I'm Lou Russo. I'm Michelle Palenza. Jonna is here with an update on what's trending. Jonna, what's going on? All right, Lou and Michelle. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but never in a million years would I thought would I ever think that we're talking about Jelly Roll's teeth. But here we are. So Jelly Roll has some new pearly whites. They are beautiful. They're they like are beautiful, and he's smiling all the time now all the time. Well, now his dentist is showing them off. So he recently, like this past spring, just underwent like a total dental transformation and it addressed both health and cosmetic issues. So it wasn't just about his looks. Well, now Jelly Roll's dentist is sharing an inside look into the dental makeover. Like literally, there were tons of footage that have that's been taken and posted to social media everywhere. Obviously, they did a great job editing it. Um, there's some really funny videos of Jelly Roll in there, but it also highlights the importance of kind of taking care of your mouth and how it's connected to your overall health. Mm. I just think, like, it's really cool that he's willing to do anything and show off any part of his life if it's going to help somebody and, like, let just let them yeah, in on something they didn't you got to love before. that about him. Moving on this morning, when's the last time either of you have been to Applebee's? Oh, it's been a while. I've been about six weeks. I went, so I actually haven't been in a while, kind of like Michelle, but I actually went last week, and Big Brother is a thing, I swear, because now I'm seeing everywhere how, uh uh-oh, get to Applebee's ASAP, because you know how so many restaurants have closed the doors this year. It's been a little bit hard uh, to keep up for some of them. Uh, We may have another one to add to the list, and it's Applebee's. They're not doing well, and it's crazy because I was just in there. Their new numbers came in. They took a little bit of a dip. Oh, speaking of stores closing up shop, from Applebee's to Macy's this morning, since a bunch of Macy's stores closed up shop this year, what's going to happen to them now? The stores are huge, right? Like, is there one Macy's store that you have ever walked into that isn't giant? Yeah, no, they're all huge. I know, that's what I'm saying. So Macy's is normally an anchor store for most malls. And that's especially true here in New Jersey, right? So what are they going to be turned into? I is, know, I know, I know. What? A what, Lou big Russo? full court Nerf court. Nerf court? Nerf Ooh, basketball. That would be fun. That actually would be fun. Or like a pickleball court. That's a great idea. Well, they're popping and up all over the place. I know. And Lou Russo, you know what? You're not completely far off because this is already happening. Like, they're getting turned into the craziest things. There's one that's a Whole Foods somewhere. Others have been made into, like, healthcare facilities. Like, people live there. Movie theaters. Family fun centers. So why can't it be a Nerf center? Ooh, you why live can't at it the, be a Nerf gr- Or you live at the family fun center. How cool would that, that would be? be? Cool. That would be cool. I so like your style. Lou would convert it into a Nerf center. Michelle, what would you? I like living at the family fun center. Living Going down the, the slide, fam- the ball pit, all of it. And Michelle... We- uh, and ah. and Jonna wants to turn it into a big Applebee's, right? <laughs> yeah, right, please. There you go. Classic we solved the whole all problem. Yeah. All right, thanks, Jonna. Bye, guys. All right, let's see how we're doing on the roads this morning. We're in great shape right now on the roads. Nothing really major to talk about, which is great news as you head off to work this morning. That's your Jersey Shore track. Time to play Celebrity Name Game on 94.3 The Point. We got two great contestants ready today. Yeah, it's going to be a fun round of Celebrity Name Game. Contestant number one, what's your name? My name is Karen. I'm from Lakehurst, and I love to sing karaoke. Oh, you probably see Michelle at all the karaoke bars. Possibly. She's way better than I am. <laughs> and who's contestant number two? Hi, Lou and Michelle. This is Nicole from Jackson, and I love the beach. Awesome. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Karen, you called in first. Who's going to give you the clues this morning? I'm going to go with Michelle this time. Me? Okay. This time? So, last time you played with Lou? Yes. And how'd you do? I won. Yeah, baby. Oh, no. I feel the pressure. Oh, boy. oh, oh, oh <laughs> the pressure is on. Good luck, Karen. Thank you. This is an actress with a bunch of great movies. The Proposal, Speed, The Blind Side. Sandra Bullock. Yes. 
The Disney movie, The Little Mermaid. Who's the mermaid? What's her name? Ariel. Correct. The reality show. It's on ABC. Um, they're single, and there are a bunch of people who want to date them and give them roses. What's that show? Bachelor or Bachelorette. Yes. Uh, the CEO of Tesla, an ex. Uh. I think Tesla, not Twitter anymore, but it's X. Um. If a guy puts on like cologne, not cologne, but there's another name for it, like a kind of smell, like a. Ash? <laughs> I totally. No, I'm not getting that one, am I? <laughs> it's like a musky, like a musk. That was bad. Wow. Uh, you got them all right. You just missed Elon Musk. But three out of Elon four. Elon Musk, okay. Woo! Michelle, you're going to be thinking about that musk clue for a long time. <laughs> but isn't that the right, like, what's what's the other word? Like a musk? It's, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, yes, you're right. But wow, a stretch. I okay. hope you didn't hurt yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, Nicole, you ready? Yeah, I hope they're as easy as that. <laughs> okay, well, Listen, we'll she find got out. three, so that was a great score. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, oh, she's a singer. She sings Party in the USA. Oh, um, oh, my God, Lindsay. Um, oh, my God. Billy Ray's daughter? Uh, Miley Cyrus. There you go. Uh, Ocean's Eleven. He's Brad Pitt's friend. Gravity. Uh, Amal is his wife? George Clooney. Yes. Uh, uh, Homer's wife in the cartoon. She has big blue hair. Marge. That's right. Um, yes. Uh, okay. This is a character. He sells bakery products. He's got a blue and white hat. You point it at his so belly. Very dope boy. Yes! Uh, that was so close. <laughs> yep. But we're going to do something a little special today because of the Musk clue. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> the judges have decided that that clue sent you in the wrong direction, and we're going to give you the credit for that answer. So we got a 4-4 four, four tie. Woo! Both you guys win. How about that? Congratulations. That's nice. awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. Now, Nicole, you did get four out of four. So what do you say we play your victory song? I say we play my victory song, yes. It's fair. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Today, we're going to do another round of Celebrity Name Game tomorrow at this time. Guys, thank you for playing. Thank that you, Lou and Michelle. <laughs> so, First of all, yeah, okay, here we go. musk is a warm scent defined by a complex range of powdery, sweet, woodsy, and earthy aroma impressions. Okay? You looked it up. <laughs> I did. I looked it up. You. Uh, so I wasn't too far off. You had two choices. <laughs> Look it up. Let it go. I doubled down. <laughs> I said, I'm not going to let it go. Look it up. Roll with the punches. So I was going to ask you a question. I'm even afraid to ask it. Did you regret that clue? <laughs> no, that wasn't the question. The question, <laughs> you love a win, right? You're competitive. Of you course love a I win. love a win. And you don't love a loss. How do you feel about a tie? Is it right in the middle or well, is it closer to a loss? When it, it was kind of like in my favor, I was I appreciated that one. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. But then you Googled it. I did, because I was like, wait a second. I wasn't, like, I was in the right direction, right? I was going down the right path. Like a defense attorney for yourself. But you're right, though, Lou. Sometimes clues, like, throw them off even more. Right? Like. True. That is 100% They're like, what are true. you talking about? Especially clues like that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on on the roads. You're looking at a good ride. The parkway is moving along Route 918. No accidents, no major incidents to report this morning. That's your Jersey Shore traffic. One out of four people say they have back pain mm. for this reason driving that is not that is not the reason they have given in this one that's a good reason it might be another 25 percent, but not this one picking something up yeah now you're getting warmer grocery bags no more adorable oh kids your children picking up your kids yeah. yes that would cause uh, some back pain so um three you have three the, was the time you stopped carrying the kids younger each time? Like, were you, like did you carry your first kid or Way around? longer. Of longer. course you do yeah. when it's your first. Yeah, and then the second one, you're like, no, I'm not doing it to that long. And then the third one, you're like, please walk. Just walk. I know. Right? Right. You can't wait. And then they start walking, and you're like, please stop walking, because now i got to chase you and run after you the entire time. And you have to do the hip thing, right? You have to push the hip out. It's not even carrying the kids. It was carrying that carrier 
like from the car into uh, the house uh-huh. and you got that carrier on your hip and that's heavy because that adds a lot of weight right there and then you got the baby in it so it, it could definitely cause some back pain that's pretty amazing that one out of four people have back pain for picking up the kids because when you think about it the age your age when your kids are of age to be carried like that you're pretty young for back pain you are right but then you get to a point where you're no longer carrying your kids and then you're like i want to carry my kids like i want to go back to that time where you can carry your kids but not have the back pain <laughs> right you want the best of it all oh it makes you uh of course reminisce a little bit because then you, they get to that age where they're like they ju- have to jump like it gets to the point where you're like okay right. let's get a running you gotta run and then jump <laughs> yes and then i can lift you right. and then it just there's no more lifting and, you can't do it anymore and you have to do the step and a half back to brace for it right you're like, Whoa! <laughs> you're like as tall as i am i can't lift you anymore how about we reverse roles let's do that the other way uh, that's funny. so one in four you know, one in lot. four people that hurting their back from picking up the kids. All right, let's see what's going on on the roads. Listen, we're in good shape right now on the roads. Nothing really major to talk about. No accidents, no major incidents to report, which is great news as you head off to work this morning. That's your Jersey Shore traffic. No heavy lifting on the roads today. Just a little. Well, I should have thrown that in there. I'm just saying. That could have been a great lead. Clever. <laughs> that could have been. All right, then you do the traffic from no. now on. <laughs> Here's my computer, just... and it's all yours. <laughs> No, no. I think you'd be perfect for it. As usual, I should have kept my mouth shut. This is the Jersey Shore's Morning Show with Lou and Michelle. On 94.3, The Point. The home of the 94 days of summer. Teaming up with Miller Lite. Lots of swag, Michelle, up for grabs all summer long. And lots of summer. We still have a lot left. Got that right. So just open our 94.3, The Point app. Check that out. The whole gang is working hard to get your day started the right way. Chief Meteorologist Dan Zero is here. Still pretty good news from Dan. We have Corey and Logan up in the booth as always. I'm Lou Russo. I'm Michelle Palenza. And Jana is here to tell us what's trending. Jana, what's up? Lou and Michelle, we're all members of the iPhone Club. Okay, I needed to establish that first and foremost. How's your battery life? Ah, uh, pretty good with this phone. Are we still talking about my phone? Yes. Um, okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> That's good. No, that's really good. So mine's been really great too. That's why I was like a little bit, um, a, a little bit like skeptical and confused as to why people are complaining all over the internet about their phone, like their battery is just draining. Well, that's super, happening super to my son lately. Is it? Yeah. So what's going on? A bunch of people they're complaining about the iPhone's vampire setting. It's sucking the life out of the phones, but now we know because of the experts on the internet, uh, the iPhone experts, um, that it's the Wi-Fi assist. And it just helps you like when your network's kind of being a little wonky. Okay, so what do we do? All you have to do, you got to open settings, click on cellular or mobile data. You got to scroll all the way down and then enable or disable, if you want to save your phone battery, Wi-Fi assist. Boom, bing, you're done. Great information. Where is yeah, so- where, where are settings? I'll no, do kidding. this I'm later. <laughs> we'll do this later when we're off the air, Lou. I will walk you through it. Thank you. I got you, sweetheart. Love you. <laughs> um, are you are, are either of you planning on um leaving the country this year? Just quick little question. No. Um, no, but I would love to. I mean, that I, sounds great for a nice vacation. Girls trip to Greece. Let's oh, go. That Michelle. would be amazing. Lou, do you want to come? You got to be our captain, though. You got to bring. You can sail your boat over to Greece, so we I, can hop all around. That's the only way I can get there. The non-flyer that I. <laughs> I am. always forget that. Before we do that, we have to make sure that we have two thousand minimum in our bank account. Like not going towards our trip, but like in our bank account to sit there while we're over there. Why? That's a thing now. So countries, certain countries, are now requiring people from the U.S from the U.S. specifically, to have a minimum of $2,000 in their bank accounts before they let you in. So, for example, the latest one to hop on this list is Brazil. If you're traveling there, you got to make sure your bank account is stocked. Some countries are also requiring um, a passport and a visa because they don't want you to not be able to leave. Like, they were like, come enjoy, but then go back home. And they don't want you to have to use public funds. Gotcha. To do it. All right. Yeah, which is crazy. So I guess that's a thing now. And now we're moving along to Demi Lovato this morning. So she was asked whether or not the kids, if Demi chose to have any, would follow in the same footsteps to stardom. 
And Demi basically said that the, they can do what they want once they're adults. But if Demi does have kids, she's totally open to them learning how to sing, how to take a, to play an instrument, act in terms of like classes and things like that. But Demi did admit that the kids will actually have a childhood. They will not be thrust into, I guess, doing those things professionally. Right. Mm. I mean, I mean, De Demi's been through so much in her yes. life, right? And she she knows the trappings of of the career part of it. So I can understand yeah. why she'd be sensitive about that. Yeah, it's a no to start child stardom for Demi's kids. I'll tell you this: my parents always said, "Look, <laughs> we we hope and pray." That you don't become a star, and I am so proud Look to say you <laughs> that I made sure that I didn't, just so my parents would be happy. Okay, that's that's how I roll. But you are a star, Lou Russo, and mm. we love you. Talk about a leading question, right? <laughs> He's like, ah, <laughs> tell me more. Yeah, yeah. Tell yeah, me yeah. more. Keep it coming. Jonna went right down the right Lou road there. All right, but, thanks, Jonna. But we love Michelle too. Bye, guys. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, it turned on me quick. <laughs> it usually does, right? All right, let's see what's going on on the road. There's an accident on Route 36 westbound in Eatontown between Route 35 and Wyckoff Road. In Lakewood, expect a little delay on Route 9 that's heading southbound near Central Avenue and Finchley Boulevard. Nothing major. There's about a five-minute delay there. That's your Jersey Shore traffic. Your chance to test your knowledge on celebrities. Play Celebrity Name Game with us. Coming up in about 10... <laughs> Time to play Celebrity Name Game on 94.3 The Point. We got two great contestants ready today. Yeah, it's going to be a fun round of Celebrity Name Game. Contestant number one, what's your name? My name is Karen. I'm from Lakers, and I love to sing karaoke. Oh, you probably see Michelle at all the karaoke bars. Possibly. <laughs> She's way better than I am. <laughs> and who's contestant number two? Hi, Lou and Michelle. This is Nicole from Jackson, and I love the beach. Awesome. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Karen, you called in first. Who's going to give you the clues this morning? I'm going to go with Michelle this time. Me? Okay, this time. So, last time you played with Lou? Yes. And how'd you do? I won. Yeah, baby. Oh, no. I feel the pressure. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, 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 the pressure is on. Good luck, Karen. Thank you. This is an actress with a bunch of great movies. The Proposal, Speed, The Blind Side. Sandra Bullock. Yes. The Disney movie, The Little Mermaid. Who's the mermaid? What's her name? Ariel. Correct. The reality show, it's on ABC. Um, they're single and there are a bunch of people who want to date them and give them roses. What's that show? Bachelor or Bachelorette. Yes. Uh, the CEO of Tesla, an ex. Uh. I think Tesla, not Twitter anymore, but it's X. Um... If a guy puts on like cologne, not cologne, but there's another name for it, like a kind of smell, like a. Ash? <laughs> I totally. No, I'm not getting that one, was, am I? It's like a musky, like a musk. That was bad. Wow. Uh, you got them all right. You just missed Elon Musk, but three out of Elon four. Elon Musk, okay. Woo! Michelle, you're going to be thinking about that musk clue for a long time. <laughs> but isn't that the right, like, what's, what's the other word? Like a musk? It's, yeah, yeah, you yeah, could, yes, you're right, but wow, a stretch. I okay. hope you didn't hurt yourself. <laughs> All right, Nicole, you ready? Yeah, I hope they're as easy as that. <laughs> okay, well, Listen, we'll she find got out. three, so that was a great score. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, oh, she's a singer. She sings Party in the USA. Oh, um, oh, my God, Lindsay, um, oh, my God. Billy Ray's daughter? Uh, Miley Cyrus. There you go. Uh, Ocean's Eleven. He's Brad Pitt's friend. Gravity. Uh, Amal is his wife? George Clooney. Yes. Uh, uh, Homer's wife in the cartoon. She has big blue hair. Marge. That's right. Um, yes. Uh, okay. This is a character. He sells bakery products. He's got a blue and white hat. You point it at his so belly. Very dope boy. Yes! Uh, that was so close. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but we're going to do something a little special today. Because of the Musk clue. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> the judges have decided that that clue sent you in the wrong direction, and we're going to give you the credit for that answer. So we Woo! got a 4-4 tie. Woo! Both you guys win. How about that? Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. Now, Nicole, you did get four out of four. So what do you say we play your victory song? I say we play my victory song, yes. It's fair. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. amazing job today.
today. We're going to do another round of Celebrity Name Game tomorrow at this time. Guys, thank you for playing. Thank that you, Lou and Michelle. Might be the first time in history the judges jumped in and had a say. First of all, says the man who called Olaf a penguin. Okay, so <laughs> let's not go there this morning. <laughs> you know, with my clues. I like most things about you. Your memory, though, could be a problem. <laughs> you have an excellent memory. I don't forget. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on on the roads. We have an accident on Route 36 westbound in Eatontown between Route 35 and Wyckoff Road in Lakewood. Expect a little delay. That's on Route 9 heading southbound between Central Avenue and Finchley Boulevard. That's your Jersey Shore track. All right, who missed who missed on 4th of July weekend Joey Chestnut? Oh, I think a lot of people missed him. A lot of he was the only reason a lot of people would want to check out that event, but now he is uh he's back. He's going to be having a big battle on Labor <laughs> Day weekend. You you want to hear this because it's the, it's a real thing. Oh yeah, let's hear it. Check this out. To be the greatest, it takes a hunger. You understand? On September second, watch the greatest competitive eaters go head to head for the first time in fifteen years in a rematch where winner takes all. Chestnut versus Kobayashi, unfinished beef, live only on Netflix. <laughs> okay, first of all, who's excited for that? I can't wait. It's the greatest name of an event ever. Unfinished beef. Yes, I love that name. It's hysterical. And by the way, it's going to be live three o'clock Eastern time from the HyperX Arena at the Luxor in Las Vegas. So this is like... Who do you think is going to win? I think... I, You know, I don't know en enough about Takaru Kobayashi, but I mean, how do you root against... How do you, you bet gotta, against Joey Chestnut? That's what I'm saying. You got to go with Joey Chestnut. I think... Uh, and you know, he's had some time to to prepare for this, but... That's yeah, it kind of grosses me out, though. Like, I'll watch it, and it's fun, and it's exciting, but when I'm watching it, I'm like, oh. Am, am, am I the only person who thinks, though, a true hot dog eating contest should be eating hot dogs the way everybody eat, eats hot dogs not the bun and then the hot dog so you know they have all these different schemes they use so you have to eat them together i say put the hot dog in the bun eat it like you're at a barbecue can you put mustard ketchup and relish and <laughs> right. onions on it too that's exactly right <laughs> i don't because that's not the way we eat hot dogs no you know so i mean it's interesting, but that's pretty great and they does made, it gross you out a little bit it, if I had to eat it like that, yes. But I, I mean, I, they're like sweating yeah, and yeah. like their cheeks are all puffy. I'm like, I don't know if this is a good idea, but okay. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't do the commercial for it. <laughs> but I'm all in. I'm, like, I'm here for it. Michelle's, it's just a little gross. Michelle's version would be they're all sweaty, their face is puffy. I'm about to vomit. <laughs> but somehow it's still all entertaining. Don't miss it. <laughs> all right, let's see what's going on on the road. So that accident on Route 36 westbound in Eatontown has been cleared. So that's good news. And Lakewood expects a little delay on Route 9 southbound near Central Avenue and Finchley Boulevard. Also on the Parkway northbound, it is slow at exits 90 and 91. That's your Jersey Shore track. Jersey Shore's Morning Show with Lou and Michelle. On 94.3, the point. All right, we are ready for hour three of the show today. Everybody got here on time, stayed here all day. It's a good day. Yeah, we're all here, ready to go. Chief Meteorologist Dan Zarrow working the weather for us. We have Corey and Logan in the booth. Sammy this stuff is our editorial director working behind the scenes. I'm Lou Russo. I'm Michelle Palenza. And of course, Jana is here to tell us what's trending. Jana, what is up? We're all members of the iPhone Club. Okay, I needed to establish that first and foremost. How's your battery life? Uh, pretty good with this phone. Are we still talking about my phone? Yes. Um, okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. No, that's really good. So mine's been really great too. That's why I was like a little bit, um, a, a little bit like skeptical and confused as to why people are complaining all over the internet about their phone, like their battery is just draining. Well, that's super, happening super to my son lately. Is it? Yeah. So what's going on? A bunch of people they're complaining about the iPhone's vampire setting. It's sucking the life out of the phones, but now we know because of the experts on the internet, uh, the iPhone experts, um, that it's the Wi-Fi assist. And it just helps you like when your network's kind of being a little wonky. Okay, so what do we do? 
All you have to do, you got to open settings, click on cellular or mobile data. You got to scroll all the way down and then enable or disable if you want to save your phone battery. Wi-Fi assist. Boom, bing, you're done. Great information. Where is yeah, so, where, where are settings? I'll no, do kidding, this I'm later. <laughs> we'll do this later when we're off the air. Lou, I will walk you through Thank it. Thank you. I got you, sweetheart. Love you. <laughs> um, are you are, are either of you planning on um, leaving the country this year? Just quick little question. No. Um, no, but I would love to. I mean, that I, sounds great for a nice vacation. Girls trip to Greece. Let's oh, go. That Michelle. would be amazing. Lou, do you want to come? You got to be our captain, though. You got to bring. You can sail your boat over to Greece, so we I, can hop all around. That's the only way I can get there. The non-flyer <laughs> that I am. I always forget that. Before we do that, we have to make sure that we have two thousand minimum in our bank account. Like not going towards our trip, but like in our bank account to sit there while we're over there. Why? That's a thing now. So. Countries, certain countries are now requiring people from the U.S., from the U.S. specifically, to have a minimum of $2,000 in their bank accounts before they let you in. So, for example, the latest one to hop on this list is Brazil. If you're traveling there, you got to make sure your bank account is stocked. Some countries are also requiring um, a passport and a visa because they don't want you to not be able to leave. Like they were like, come enjoy, but then go back home. Be and they don't want you to have to use oh, public have have funds. Have, gotcha. To okay. do it. All right. Yeah, which is crazy. So I guess that's a thing now. And now we're moving along to uh, Demi Lovato this morning. So she was asked whether or not the kids, if Demi chose to have any, would follow in the same footsteps to stardom. And Demi basically said that the, they can do what they want once they're adults. But if Demi does have kids, she's totally open to them learning how to sing, how to take a, to play an instrument, act in terms of like classes and things like that. But Demi did admit that the kids will actually have a childhood. They will not be thrust into, I guess, doing those things professionally. Right. Mm. I mean, I mean, Demi's been through so much in her yes. life, right? And she she knows the trappings of, of the career part of it. So I can understand yeah. why she'd be sensitive about that. Yeah, it's a no to start child stardom for Demi's kids. I'll tell you this. My parents always said, look, <laughs> we, we hope and pray that you don't become a star. And I am so proud look to say <laughs> that I made sure that I didn't just so my parents would be happy. OK, that's that's how I roll. But you are a star, Lou Russo, and mm. we love you. Talk about a leading question, right? <laughs> He's like, ah, tell me more. Yeah, yeah. Tell yeah, me yeah, more. Keep it coming. Jonna went right down the right Lou road there. All right, but, thanks, Jonna. But we love Michelle, too. Bye, guys. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I love how it, but it's about Lou. No, I always I love how I. It started with me making fun of myself, and it ended with it sounding like I don't love you. Oh, but you <laughs> loved every second of when Jonna was like, "Oh, but you're the best. We love you, Lou." I was enjoying that part. You're like, I keep it coming. That is sort of my happy place. That's my zone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> certainly do. Let's see. What's and that's why we love you. <laughs> Let's see what's going on on the road. There's stop and go traffic in Tom's River on Route 9 northbound between Route 70 and West Spruce Street. It's starting to really back up there. Also in Lakewood, it is slow on Route 9 southbound, and that's between Central Avenue and Finchley Boulevard. That's your Jersey Shore traffic. Time to play Celebrity Name Game on 94.3 The Point. Oh, I got a good feeling today. Oh, well, I'm glad you do, because I do too. <laughs> Let's go to the phones and see who's playing with us. Who's contestant number one? Uh, hi, Lou and Michelle. It's Jake from Keyport, and I'm a computer analyst. All right, welcome to the show, Jake. And who is contestant number two? I am. Hi, Lou and Michelle. I'm Vanessa. I'm from Freehold, my high school teacher. Okay, well, good luck today. Thanks. Jake, you called in first, so who do you want to give you the clues? I'm going to go with Lou. All right, I'm ready for you, Jake. Here we go. Okay, uh, she's a singer, and she was uh, an original American Idol judge. Uh, Cold-hearted snake, straight up. Oh, I'll pass. Okay. All right. This guy is an actor, really tall guy. He's in um, Four Christmases, Wedding Crashers. Oh, uh, Owen Wilson? Nope. Uh, his first and last name start with the same letter. Uh, ben Vaughn. There you go. Okay. This is a singer. Uh, she sings Hero, uh, uh, Always Be My Baby. Um... Katy Perry? No. Oh, we ran out of time. We were looking on that one uh, for Mariah Carey. 
And the first one, oh. Cold Hearted Snake and straight up, Paula Abdul. Uh, uh, a little bit for my time. <laughs> well, that's all right. You got one right, <laughs> so hopefully it holds up. All right, Vanessa, you just have to get two right, and you are the winner. Can you do it? All right. I can try. All right, let's go. Think the boy band 98 Degrees. He's married to Vanessa. He was married to Jessica Simpson. Oh, uh, pass. Okay. This is a singer-actress. Think Wizards of Waverly Place. She sings Lose uh, You to Love Me. Is that Ariana Grande? No. She's another Disney uh, star. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Not her either. Pass. Okay. This is an actor-comedian in Grown Ups, Death at a Funeral. Will Smith slapped him. Oh, good job. Yes. You got one. And that means we are tied. We were looking for Nick Lachey in 98 Degrees and Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. Okay, but those were hard. You got one right. Here we go. All right, so here's how we settle the tie. We give you, Jake, one clue because you called in first. If you get it right in five seconds, you win. If not, then the win goes to Vanessa, okay? All right. Okay, here we go. He's the inventor of the phone. Ring, ring. Uh, Alexander Graham Bell. We have a winner. <laughs> you said ring, ring. <laughs> ring like a bell. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> so guess what time it is, Jake? Time to play the victory song. We'll do another round of Celebrity Name Game tomorrow at this time. Guys, thanks so much for playing. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I tell you, if I win a couple more times, we are the champions. Might go to number one on Billboard. <sighs> we just keep hearing that song <laughs> over and over and over again. <laughs> All right. If you want to be a Celebrity Name Game contestant, you open our 94.3 The Point app, and you can register, and we would love to play Celebrity Name Game with you. All right. Let's see what's going on on the roads. We have stop-and-go traffic in Tom's River, Route 9 northbound between Route 70 and West Spruce Street. It is backing up there. There's about a 10-minute delay now. Also in Lakewood, it is slow on Route 9 southbound between Finchley Avenue and Central Avenue. That's your Jersey Shore traffic. Oh, if you want to reach out to us, you always can on our 94.3 The Point app. It's very easy to do. Just open the app and message us. It is time now for our app message of the week. So I, I think there's some be some drama to this. So I'm going to say it's time for our, and we are both in a deep voice going to say app message of the week. You ready? Okay. Okay. It's time for our app, app message, message of, of the week. week. That's fancy. Um, we've been doing this tradition now for over three minutes. Uh, so we'd like to bring you this week's. What is this app message of the week? This is this is an app message to both of us. Oh, both of us. From, okay. Uh, Christina in Waretown. Who listens on 104.1 and we pre appreciate that christina uh here we go lou and michelle thank you for making me change my morning routine because of you i now go to the bathroom at home before i leave for work since i almost peed my pants reacting to you guys this week oh so i don't know if we owe christina an apology or just have to say thank you i think a little bit of both i think since we since almost was in there we could just go with the Thank you. And maybe we can get into like the the diaper industry where people can start wearing diapers if they're listening and they almost pee their pants. You know, they can have like a Lou and Michelle diaper that they could wear. And now it's time for our biggest jug handle in a conversation of the week. Brought I'm, to you by Michelle. I'm looking out for people. Nobody wants to pee their pants That's and then go to work. That's Right? You, Am I right or wrong you, on that one, Lou? You are a walking public I service. I am looking out for people. <laughs> really okay? Don't worry, everybody. Because when I say, when I sneeze and I say, oh, okay, or I, I'm laughing and I'm like, I can't laugh too hard. I'm going to pee my pants. It's real. Okay? That's there all I'm saying. There is literally no response I can have except to simply move along. Check the app messages for that one. Oh, all right. Let's see what's going on on the roads. All right. We have a lot of volume on the roads. Just really Route 9 is very busy this morning. And Tom's River northbound, it is slow between Route, uh, Route 70 and West Spruce Street. It's also a little sluggish in spots on Route 9 through Lakewood, Beachwood, and Lacey Township. That's your Jersey Shore traffic.